are in the bush again. It's a estate but it's got some wildlife on it. It's just on the northern outskirts here of Pretoria, South Africa. Also borders the, the Rere Plot Dam, which also offers very nice fishing. But it's freezing cold today. Got a nice little wind blowing. Lots of nice animals on here. So gonna have a walkabout. Yeah, might walk about and then see what we can find. <laughs> background behind the whole being post ninja thing I actually also used to guide um, like a game ranger about 5,000 years ago There's a small herd of impalas just up ahead. They're crazy. There's little impalas. They're crazy. They stand and they look at you and then like, oh no, we've been spotted. Those were blessed book. Um, they also grazers, like eating the grass. Nothing personal, my opinion, but it's not the smartest antelope out there. If anybody knows the blessed book personally, I apologize. <laughs> 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 some nice fresh giraffe tracks you see you see the size of it see that whole track there and the front of the track is there the pointy part showing that the giraffe walked in that way but you can actually see the size of the track it's ginormous <laughs> Zebra here as well with the giraffe. Everything has spotted me, so I'm just hiding here out of sight. I'm gonna stand here, keep here for a couple of minutes, and um, then just creep around the bushes again. Maybe we can get a little bit closer to the zebras as well. While I was sitting here, just um, minding my own business. saw this on the tree here and you can see this whole patch on this branch it's quite a big area that the bark has been taken off um, now the only animal that will do that is the southern lesser spotted bark leopard no not really um, my theory is what I think it is it's a warthog you can see these tooth marks all over this branch the way they've been digging to try and get the bark off and it looks like they've been doing it for a while but I'm not aware of the the fact that that warthogs eat bark so what I think they might be doing is stripping the bark off to get to the tree sap
quite used to me now, you would think. is quite bad so there's a bit of movement in the camera I just want to show you when you're in a little bit open area like this where there's a lot of grass sometimes the grass doesn't look that long but believe me you can miss a lot of things smaller animals like a warthog or a jackal which I will now demonstrate <laughs> found something awesome see the scorpion he came to lift up a rock see if there's anything underneath and lo and behold there's the little scorpion oh my soul there's another one here by my hand that is awesome check there's another one This one's a fatty. She's moving, she's moving, she's moving. And now it's time to teach you a local sport in the bush called Bok Drol Spoog Competitie. Okay, if you translate that, it means antelope scat spitting competition. Now, I found some scat here. Oh, it's biggish. <laughs> World record. This is a doozy. This one, she's from a zebra. They don't mess around. Starting to go out now. Found a very cool wildebeest skull. See there? Let's see now get a nice nice idea about the size of the head. Please go and like our Facebook page, go and like the video, check us out on YouTube, subscribe to the channel, just do it, just do it, just be awesome, that's all you have to do. Okay, so it sucks, my days come to an end, gotta head out, go back home.
But I had a very nice day, saw some nice things. Um, actually had some nice opportunities to get close to some of them. And um, actually also very nice to just, as close as this is to the city, come out and experience this like it is. Looking forward to the next time, wherever, whenever that's gonna be, hopefully soon. And hopefully we can share some, some more exciting Bulls Ninja experiences. I actually think the, the giraffe just came to say goodbye. Oh, hello.